In this lesson, we are going to be reviewing factoring, and this is meant to be a very quick review. So I want to discuss factoring using GCF and factoring the difference of squares in this video. So for the first example, you want to just factor the, uh, the GCF out. So you are going to look at this first example. So you have 4 multiplied by m minus 4 multiplied by 3, okay? So we can see that the 4 is common between these two. So we can remove that 4 that is common. And we have m minus 3 remaining. And that's it. So for number 2, we have 12 and 21. So 12 is also 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by n. And 21 is 3 multiplied by 7. So you can see that these two, they have 3 in common. So we can also factor out the 3. So it's going to be 3, 4n minus 7. And that is it. So for this third example, we have 2 multiplied by s raised to the power of 4, y raised to the power of 3. So I always encourage my students to actually multiply it out. So uh, s raised to the power of 4 is s multiplied by itself 4 times. And y raised to the power of 3 is y multiplied by itself 3 times minus 6. So 6 will be 2 multiplied by 3. x multiplied by itself 2 times. And y multiplied by itself 5 times. Okay, then multiply by z. Okay, so let's see what we have in common. So we have this 2 in common. <clears throat> And we have 2 s squared in common, which is s raised to the power of 2. We have y raised to the power of 3 in common. So this will be y raised to the power of 3. Okay. So we can see that now we have 2 s raised to the power of 2, y raised to the power of 3 in common. Then what do we have left here? We have s raised to the power of 2 left in the first one. Uh, in the first term of this expression, and here we have 3 left, and we have y raised to the power of 2, z, okay? So, and that is the answer. Okay, so for the difference of squares, so I'm giving you this formula. So, this is the difference of square, okay? So, the idea is if you are able to square the two terms in the expression, that is being subtracted, then you are dealing with difference of squares. So look at 25. I know that I can write 25 as 5 raised to the power of 2. So now I have two terms in this expression that is being subtracted. So I can just, so this is just going to be s minus 5, s plus 5, okay? And for number 5, we can see for s raised to the power of 2, so that is that will be 2 raised to the power of 2, s raised to the power of 2, 3 raised to the power of 2, y raised to the power of 2. So now I have 2x, everything raised to the power of 2, minus 3y, everything raised to the power of 2. So I can, so this is again the difference of squares. So I have 2x minus 3y multiplied by 2x plus 3y. And that's it. So I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe.